back here with Jake Tapper. Okay, so Senator Graham, uh, my home state, yeah, Senator, you're Senator. South Carolina, covering South Carolina with glory once again. <laughs> he was McCain's wingman. Yeah. He was McCain's right hand guy. Now he seems to be Trump's wingman. He is. Absolutely. Are you surprised by him swinging from McCain to the man who McCain probably had more contempt for than anyone else? I don't think there's any probably about it. He absolutely had more contempt for President Trump than than he had for anyone else. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? Uh, politicians are politicians. Politicians do what they need to survive. Lindsey Graham is from South Carolina, which, despite the small pocket of your relatives, is a very. <laughs> Very red state. Very you have not met all my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> right. My family's purple. <laughs> my, I got a purple family out there. But why did it's one thing to like survive and not go against the president. It's enough to be so heavily in the president's. Well, he's up for party. re-election in 2020, and uh, Lindsey Graham, who does go out on a limb on some issues uh, and and reach across the aisle, uh, such as immigration reform. Mm -hmm. That's one. Um, is perpetually vulnerable to a primary challenge. And there were, until relatively recently, until he and Trump went golfing that time, yep. there was a lot of buzz about a number of Republican members of the House running against him in the primary. And now there isn't, because he has cozied up to President Trump. And by the way, I also think he, he actually is a partisan Republican who does not like what the Democrats have been doing in all this. Sure. But in terms of going from... Uh, you know, McCain's wingman to, to Trump's wingman, I, I think it's a big question of, well, who was the presidential nominee in 2008? Okay, who was the presidential nominee in 2016? Okay, I need to go where the party's going. Um, on uh, State of the Union this past Sunday, yeah. it, was an all, it was Jake Tapper and then an all-female uh, panel of guests, including uh, Kellyanne Conway and Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, a panel of four, four women guests as well. Do you think that this story um, is going to change how reporters cover um, not just accusations of sexual assault, but... Um, the role of women in Washington politics, that it's going to change the sort of the primacy or the importance of women's voices? Well, I hope so. I, I think that I, I've had all women panels lots of times, um, but it is true that this Sunday I felt that we'd heard from men enough. And... Uh... <laughs> Your, I, I do not, I do, I do not have a copy of it out here. But your book, The Outpost, is is now being made into a movie. Yeah, they're filming it in Bulgaria. Okay, and it, and, it, and it's it's about uh, <laughs> it's about a unit uh, fighting in Afghanistan. Yeah, it's a real a real story about uh, an incredibly uh, dangerous battle in Afghanistan in 2009, uh, where about 50 or so U.S. troops were uh, they woke up one morning and about three or four hundred Taliban and insurgents were attacking them. And so it's, it's been announced for a while that it's being made as a movie, but yeah. it's announced that Orlando Bloom... Orlando Bloom is playing Ben Keating. Uh, the, the, camp, the camp is Combat Outpost Keating. Orlando Bloom is playing Ben Keating. So he's not... You're not, you're not playing you. I thought maybe... <laughs> no? You think I would cast Orlando Bloom as me? Well, well, we did. We cast Orlando Bloom as you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we also cast Orlando Bloom as you when he was naked on the paddleboard with <laughs> Katy Perry. But that's the one that CBS says I can't show on air. I'll give it to you privately I, backstage. Thank God for CBS. Um, well, Jake, good to see you again. Thanks <laughs> for being here. Thank you so much. The Lead airs weekdays on CNN. Jake Tapper, everybody.